hi guys good morning welcome back to my channel how you doing how you doing you guys today i am going to the market i'm going to two markets and two supermarkets i'm talking to my vlog people eh, 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 eh. So I just use that to collect to collect my uh, marker. So yeah, I'm going to two markets and two supermarkets. I want to meal prep. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I meal prep for the month um, for my family. Okay, not like a personal meal prep, like my family meal prep. I'll show you how I make sure we have food throughout the month. I'm carrying the whole family out as well because Amarachi is not back yet. But I don't want to leave Elizabeth at home with all the kids because they're going to stress her and she's not really feeling too well. So I'm carrying everybody. We're all going to the supermarket, all going to the market. We're all coming back together and then we'll do, we'll do the meal prep stuff together. But anyway, yeah, let us get going. Hello. You can enjoy yourself. Yes. You're eating. I want some. Sophia. Yes. Sophia, how are you? Eat that thing fast. Eat it. I need more. More. I'm a gorilla. More. <laughs> Hi guys, so I am back from my plenty plenty shopping. I don't even want to rant. Let me not rant about a lot of things that happened today, but I need money. That's just the bottom line. Like the just as you know, I've already ranted all the rants. Eh? At the end, is that I need money because hmm. Hey. Hmm? 
What happened to what? Why did you say that you need money? Okay, everything I bought today was very expensive. And all the money I had has finished. The only thing left in my account now is 300 and something naira. Which is not a lot. I spent almost 200k. And everything is inside this kitchen. <laughs> I spent 200, it was 200k. And everything is inside this kitchen. You know? People can see that the kitchen is, it's not like the kitchen is full though. So, let me just start prepping now. Elizabeth is already on carrot duty. Um, they've done some things for the tomatoes. Because we need to go and blend tomatoes for stew. What is this one here? Okay, this one is for the tomato sauce. You know what we'll have to do here? Let's start preparing one by one. Okay now, nah. also on the floor is that what happened? <laughs> Pick them up. Pick them up. Go and bring your chairs. Uh, 
Yes, yes it's true. It's true, it's true, it's true. You make our own market. Yeah. Don't tell me to turn it I will not use that stone to pass it. Jesus! <laughs> Just now you are done. Wow, Eva is fast though. Eva, gonna bring more. Don't oh, bring more. Yeah. Oh, yeah! I'm going to be the last after. Madam, listen. What is going on with my child? Oh. Go and enter your bicycle. Come, see your bicycle here. Yes, bicycle. So guys, I am done cooking now and these are all the meals I prepared. These are not actually complete meals, they are actually like basis for complete meals, okay? So on the first row, we have vegetable soup. On the second row, we have a goosey soup. On our timetable for the week, we have soup twice a week for dinner, okay? So that's soup two times a week for dinner and that is why I made eight soups in total. I've forgotten which day we actually have soup, but let's just say on a Monday, we have vegetable soup. And on a Wednesday, we have a goosey soup. Then the next week, we'll have another vegetable soup and another a goosey soup. So it's basically two soups per week. And that is why I have eight plates of two different soups, okay? I hope that makes sense. And then next, I have my tomato base. I always have tomato base in my house. It's basically onions, pepper, and tomatoes fried in oil, lightly fried in oil, not really cooked you know properly we just lightly fry it in oil and then store um, because during the week we have different kind of sauces egg sauce fish sauce that we make with this tomato base so i always have it here i just made six plates i don't know how many we need per week but i mean for a whole month this is definitely going to be enough if not more than enough because you know we have other things that we eat so the last rule we have a vegetable mix I don't know what to call it but i'll just call it vegetable mix basically it's different veggies fried in oil lightly as well not properly cooked through but just fried in oil lightly i also have sausages and liver i think that's liver and kidney um yeah added to it yeah beef liver cow liver cow kid i don't know whatever <laughs> anyway so i have it added to it it makes an excellent um base for you know stir fries quick fried rice quick anything you just need to whip up in the kitchen like sometimes when i have leftover white rice in the fridge i just bring it out and bring out one of these plates and just do some mixing add a little bit of fried eggs um add some sesame oil add some you know soy sauce oyster sauce and stuff like that and in minutes guys in minutes my fried rice is done okay and it tastes so delicious that's why i always have it here um whenever i want to cook macaroni for my kids spaghetti for my kids you know different kind of pastas anything i want to just prepare and i just i mean even to fry eggs sometimes or even to make noodles i add this to it okay so it's a quick way to get veggies into your food without having to start cutting every single day or every time you want to prepare that meal i don't have to start cutting i'm peeling and all of that i already have my base done um i think i have eight plates here this eight plates are enough more than enough for a month to be honest but let's just say it'll be enough for a month okay and down up you know on the top right corner <laughs> I have pepper soup there. It's just three small plates. I didn't make so much. It's not like we have it on our menu. It's just for long truth sake, okay? And then we have our buckets of tomatoes. Not buckets, anyway. 
plate of tomato base this is for stew and we have rice and stew on our menu i think it's just once we have rice and stew and we also have jollof rice on the menu so this tomato base is going to serve us when i want to quickly make stew i just bring out you know a portion of chicken from the fridge and you know make my stew with this and whenever i also want to make jollof rice i just bring this out and maybe add a little bit of tin tomatoes you know to make my jollof rice but sometimes i don't even add tin tomatoes i just use it like that but yeah that's it that is how i am able to make sure that we have food in the fridge every week i also bought bread in bulk i don't know if i showed you guys i bought bread in bulk so i usually buy like four to six um hot fresh bread from market square and i keep in the freezer and i just bring one out per week and yeah storing bread in the freezer doesn't spoil your bread it doesn't change the texture or anything like that anytime you bring it out and allow it to thaw it tastes like fresh like brand new and i also have salad it wasn't here in the picture but i also have salad in my fridge so yeah that's it guys everything is done everything is prepared and we are good to go for the month okay yeah let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed watching this video and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys